Hey guys, so yeah, it is going to be two months this Sunday, which ironically is my mom's 75th birthday. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be two months this Sunday since Me TV Tunes debuted. And basically, you know, we all expected it, you know, because people like Andre Meadows and others have talked about the fact that from what they've heard and personally found out through interviews, because Andre did an interview with uh, the Neil guy, the Neil Saban guy, or whatever his name is, um, at Me TV Tunes. Basically, he, you know, he's the guy outside of, um, I, I think, who else? The the other guy that's named it, that's Jeff guy or Jack guy, whatever his name is. Uh, I can't, can, let me know in the comments. I can't think of it right now. Uh, but anyway, anyway, they all said to, you know, sources they've talked to, people within Me TV Tunes, and of course, like I said, through various interviews, that the schedule was going to change. In fact, I even I basically said when this first all was happening that things were going to change eventually as we got further into the year. Now, what's going to be happening is, of course, with a lot of announcements that, you know, or hints of announcements that, you know, Neil made in his interview with Andre, and I do apologize for that message, Facebook Messenger notification there. I do apologize if you heard that. Uh, but what Neil basically told Andre during his interview with him is essentially, you know, we're going to be getting a lot of new content um, added to MeTV Tunes. It's going to be uh, totally new in, in everything. It's going to be totally new. And, well, not totally new, I should say, but it's going to be new to the network. It's going to be classic stuff, but it's also going to be new blocks. You know, it's going to be, you know, new, you know, new blocks and everything like uh, basically, one of them, um, again, I've talked about, I think it's called um, Animation Something, and Animation Antiques or something like that. Basically, basically, a block of cartoons that is very rare and stuff, or that rarely gets seen because maybe a sensitivity or something like that. Well, we know that's happening. We know Super Friends is happening. Uh, we know that they have other stuff planned um, as well. Uh, I'll link the interview that Andre did with Neil here at the end of the video, uh, if you're watching on YouTube. But they did come out over the past few days and make announcements of some of the new stuff, uh, at least new to the network, that will be debuting uh, within the next few weeks. Now, we know that with Yogi Bear, uh, we were always wondering, okay, what Yogi Bear are we getting? Are we getting the classic Yogi Bear show? We're we getting the new Yogi Bear show. Are we getting a mixture of both? What's going on? Well, Yogi Bear is one of the shows, or at least one of the franchise and characters, that you know, you're not only going to get the classic show or maybe the new show, you know, the hybrid or whatever uh, that it was, but you're also going to get all the variations of Yogi uh, throughout the years. You know, if not the decades, decades, years, century. Uh, well, I would say century because it was last century when a lot of this debuted. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, a lot of the Yogi Bear cartoons that debuted uh, from, you know, basically the 70s, you know, the well, basically from the original show throughout the 60s, throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s, you're going to you're going to get them, which means, yes, as suspected, we will be getting Starting September, starting September 13th, because that's when some of this will happen. It's not just this show either, but starting September 13th, after we get, um, you know, Yogi's Treasure Hunt, which is going on right now, after we probably get a rerun of Yogi's Gang, and you know, and maybe even the new new Yogi Bear show. Excuse me, there. We are going to be getting, uh, depend on September 13th. This was announced a couple of days ago. On August 19th, this was announced, actually, or August 20th, I should say, so a couple days ago, we will be getting, we will be getting, basically, and these are schedule changes in September, we will be getting Yo Yogi premiering on, on Friday, September 13th at 12 p.m. And that's going to be, obviously, 12 p.m. Eastern and Pacific which means if you have friendly or philo, you know, TV, those services, those streaming services as the only way to watch me TV tunes, then basically if you live on the West Coast, you know, if you live on the West Coast and everything, 
it'll be at 9 a.m. So on the West Coast, 9 a.m., Mountain Time, 10 a.m., Central, 11. And then if you go further to uh, Alaska and Hawaii, you're looking at 7 or 6 a.m. for Yo Yogi. But it's because it'll debut at 12 p.m. Eastern Pacific, and it's only, you know, Eastern Pacific, it's only if you have it, you have a channel with over the air. And I'll talk about that in a moment because there is some news there uh, from what I've read. But yeah, Yo Yogi will be part of that. Then at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Pacific, which would be 8.30 Pacific time, if you're on Friendly, if you're watching it through Friendly TV and Philo, uh, basically, at 8.30 a.m., you know, through Friendly TV or Philo, um, you know, Pacific time, I should say, but at 11.30 Eastern, uh, you will have on September 13th the debut of Dastry, Dastardly and Muttley in the, fr- in the Flying Machines. That's right. Dick Dastardly and Muttley in the Flying Machines will premiere at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Pacific or, like I said, if you're watching on the streaming outlets that have MeTV, it's going to be, if you live on the West Coast, 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Then, on September 15th, on September 15th, you will get, as part of the Flintstones Family Sundays block, you will get the ever-popular Flintstones Kids. That's right, the Flintstone Kids will debut on September 15th. I don't know if part of that airing, you know, because they will do the series throughout the, throughout the time it's there, or at least a certain amount of episodes of the show before they rerun to another show or do something else. Uh, I don't know if it will include the drug episode, the drug special that had Michael Jackson in it, uh, Michael Jackson Stone, as they call it, or they call him. I don't know if it will have that. Uh, But yes, the Flintstone kids will be part of the Flintstone Sunday block starting September 15th. So you're going to get like two hours, four episodes, uh, back to back to back to back of the Flintstone kids. Now they did announce that uh, basically there's going to be, I guess, a block of cartoons. It's going to be a new show block, which will be a mix-up of old Hanna-Barbera TV shorts into one block. Think Boomerang Zoo. It's going to be called the House of Hanna Barbera. Now we don't know when that's going to debut, but I can assume it's going to be in the fall. Now continuing on, they do say in addition to Pebbles and Bam Bam, which is going to be coming up real soon. If, well, it's already out, I should say, on the Flintstones Family Block. A recent promo confirmed that the Flintstone Kids and Cave Kids will be airing a part. Airing will be airing as part of the Flintstones Family Sundays at some point. Now, again, you could be getting back to back to back to back to back. You know, for two hours, you can get four episodes back to back to back to back of Flintstone Kids, or they can mix it up and just give you two back to back Flintstone Kids and two back to back Cave Kids. Now, Cave Kids, in case you guys don't know, was a Flintstones preschool show. That's right. It was a preschool show um, that aired on... Um, on PBS originally. It aired originally on PBS back in the early to mid 2000s and it focused, of course, on the baby version, the baby fight versions of Pebbles and Bam Bam. So Cave Kids will be part of the Flintstones Family Sunday Block. Again, I don't know how they'll do this. If they'll just do, you know, two hours straight of Flintstone Kids, let that run. And then they'll do the cave kids, same thing. Or they'll do two Flintstone kids and two cave kids. We'll see what happens. But that's what they got planned uh, for that. That's what they got planned uh, for that um, as well. Yogi's Treasure Hunt will debut on the 12th. That's already here. And Pebbles and Bam Bam on the 18th. That's already here. So those shows are already being aired on, like I said, it will be air, be, uh, currently being aired on BTV Tunes, depending on how you get it. Now, they do talk about the fact that they are trying to get other shows. Neil, um, as mentioned in the interview with Andre, is trying to get TMNT, 87, Tiny Tunes, and Animaniacs 
although Animaniacs and Tiny Toons might be a little harder to do since they're more expensive. And then, uh, again, according to what he said in the interview, uh, basically the blog, The Animated Antiques, is going to feature cartoons like Popeye and Betty, uh, Popeye and Betty Boop, which you, you would think, well, why do you need to have them on there? Well, there are some uh, cartoons, cartoon shorts, featurettes that Popeye and Betty Boop were in that back then in the 30s and 40s, were to, you know, they went about, and you can see these on the DVDs and Blu-rays they're released on, they went about 17 minutes, 17, 15 to 17, to, if not 20 minutes. They were almost like a half-hour episode. You know, this is like, you know, Betty Boop being Cinderella. This is like uh, Popeye meets Sinbad. You get the idea. So, so, yeah, that's probably what they're talking about, you know, with those two being included in Animated Antiques, along with Courageous, along with, such, along with other oddities, such as Courageous Cat and Clutch Cargo. So you'll be able to see those as well if you've ever been interested in that. Now, they did say, and I'm going to look this up, I want to make this, I want to make this basically, as I uh, put this away for a second, and I put this away. I, I want to make sure I'm perfectly clear on this because I think somebody said that Laugh Olympics is also showing up real soon. I think they said Laugh Olympics is also showing up real soon on Me TV Toon on the Me TV Tunes, excuse me, uh, real soon. I think somebody said that. I want to make sure um, I get this right. Let me should I get this right? It will premiere. Okay, it's on Facebook. Somebody did say it on Facebook. It's, I think it's the Facebook group page. Um, if it loads up, here we go. On September 2nd. So, yes, MeTV Tunes fan group page uh, mentioned on the 15th of this month that Laugh Olympics will premiere on September 2nd of next month so be on the lookout for that i will be on the lookout i can tell you that because i love laugh olympics even though i have the entire series on dvd uh, courtesy of frank hill and i think yeah, i even purchased one or two up one or two dvds myself before he did that but mostly thanks to frank hill and let's see I'm trying to see if you know it has any more information um it does not but what's interesting that i also was looking on here and uh, basically, um, basically, from what I've heard, uh, from what somebody said, uh, here we go. The, uh, somebody named by the name of Tim Dor Doram or Doram uh, said that basically they talked to this. To basically, this is what they said. They said to the Spectrum customer in Los Angeles, "I just talked to them online and asked about Me TV Tune TV." Uh, me TV Tune TV. This is what they told me. There are plans to add Me TV Tune in the future, although there is no confirmed date. And people follow that up by saying uh, DirecTV said they are still in negotiations. And I think the same would go for. Um, I think some. I think the same goes for Xfinity and Comcast. So yes, they will be coming. It's just that you know it's all about you know dotting you know dotting all those I's and T's. To ensure that things, um, you know, to ensure that things, you know, go a certain way, um, if you will. And basically, basically what that tells me is by next year, by next year, if not the end of this year, but by next year, they will be on the cable outlets. Now, something that has to do with MeTV Tunes and everything because a lot of these shows will show up on MeTV Tunes eventually. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery released um, released a schedule for Max because remember, at the end of September, uh, you know, at the end of September, they will be integrating a lot of, you know, a lot. They will be integrating all of, all of basically uh, MeTV Tunes, uh, not MeTV Tunes, but integrating Boomerang. <laughs> I got MeTV Tunes on the mind here. But they will be integrating the Boomerang service um, as a as a tab, if you will, like you know, T, like TLC, CNN, and all that. They'll be integrating it um, into um, 
into Max, into HBO Max. And on September 14th, this is what they got announced. And this is going to be 16 days before Boomerang, uh, the streaming service, shuts down and gets integrated into Max. But this is what they got planned to kind of give you, I guess, a taste of what's coming. And I hope you like a lot. Of, and I hope you love Scooby-Doo because this is what you're getting, as well as Tom and Jerry, because this is what you're getting. On September 14th, you're getting Aloha Scooby-Doo, a pup named Scooby-Doo. Baby Looney Tunes. So if you're a fan of Baby Looney Tunes, which is also scheduled for uh, MeTV Tunes eventually, you're getting that. Johnny Quest. Don't know if that's the new Johnny Quest or classic. Could be both. Uh, I love. I'll tell you this one. I'll tell you this. The one they did in the late, in the mid late nineties. That is a. That's a classic. That Johnny Quest in the mid to late nineties. The Real Adventures. You need to watch that. That's good. Uh, but Johnny Quest. And then Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase, Scooby-Doo Witches Ghost, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo Movies, Scooby-Doo Mysteries, new Scooby-Doo Mysteries, that is, Tom and Jerry Show, Tom and Jerry, Robin Hood and his Merry Mouse, Tom and Jerry Tales, Tom and Jerry, Willy Wonker, and the Chocolate Factory. So that's what's scheduled for September uh, 14th on Max. And again, I think it's to get you ready for the integration of Boomerang. Um, as part of it, because that's what I believe is going to happen. Boomerang is going to be integrated into uh, the Max service as a tab like TLC and, you know, like TLC is, CNN, uh, DC, Looney Tunes, you name it. You know, so that, but that right there, that's 16 days before that happens. I think that's being done to give you a taste of what's to come. But yes, getting back to MeTV Tunes. The recent announcements are that starting um, September 13th, the weekend of September 13th and 15th, you will be getting the debut of Yo Yogi, and that'll be aired Monday, basically Sunday through Saturday, I'm assuming. Um, I think, I'm not really sure, i got to check the Sunday schedule again, but if not, it's Monday through Saturday, you'll, you'll be getting Yo Yogi, and don't worry, Yo Yogi's only 13 episodes, Okay. If you don't like it, you only have to deal with it for 13 episodes, which means basically you'll be getting it from uh, the 15th. Oh, not the 15th, but you're getting it from the 13th. You know, you get it from the 13th um, to basically, basically I'm looking, I'm trying to think of it. You get it from the 13th, the 20th, and the 26th at the latest. You'll be getting it for that long. So basically the 13th. To around the 26th is the latest. And then I think they'll be going into the classic Yogi Bear. It's not the new Yogi Bear show. Which, to me, the new Yogi Bear show from 1988 is based on Hey There's Yogi Bear. And that's where Yogi and, Yogi Bear, uh, Yogi and the Invasion of the Space Bears um, Superstar 10 movie is based on. So if we don't get classic Yogi, we're going to be getting the new Yogi. So basically you're going to be on the lookout for that if that happens. But yeah. You don't have to, if you don't like Yo Yogi, don't have to worry. It's only for two weeks unless they do a repeat of it, you know, to go for the month and then switch over to something else. Now, as far as the other announcement, Dick Dastley, Dick as far as the other announcement, I should say, Dastley and Mutt Lutley in the Flying Machines, that's a classic. You know, that song's going to definitely get, you know, uh, in a lot of people's head of Catch the Pigeon. You know, they're going to love that. Uh, I don't know how many episodes that goes for. But that does kind of correlate with the timing, uh, with the time slot of where you have Wacky Races and Penelope Pit Stop. It makes sense if we go in there, um, you know, being inserted in that, because I think it's going to be a rotation that after that, you know, we will be going back to Wacky Races, and then after that, back to Penelope, and, and then to Dick Daphne and Mutley again, and so on. I think that's the plan with uh, MeTV Tunes. They want to try to integrate you know, newer shows, uh, classic shows, along with the already other classic shows they have there to give a rotation, you know, kind of have like, okay, you know, you know, kind of get you used to a, a schedule like, okay, here's Wacky Races, okay, but now after, but now after Wacky Races, you know, you're going to get Penelope Pit Stop, and then after Penelope, you're going to get Dick Dastardly, and so on. So I think that's what they got planned. It's the same thing with Yogi, you know, with Yogi Bear here. Because, again, we had Yogi's Gang start out. Then we had Space Race, Galaxy Goof Up. Now we have Treasure Hunt. And now we're getting Yo Yogi. And then I think we're going to go into the uh, new Yogi Bear show, if not the classic Yogi Bear show. But I think probably, probably more primarily the new one, 
which is based off the Hey There, Jokey Bear movie, and, you know, and such, which also kind of, you know, had a finale with Yogi in the Invasion of the Space Bears. And then, of course, come September 15th, you're going to have the debut of the Flintstone Kids and potentially the Cave Kids. Again, I don't know what it's going to be like there. I don't know if they include the, the, drug, the drug special episode with Michael Jackson or Michael Jack Stone, as they call him. I don't know if they're going to do that. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go back to back to back to back with the Flintstone kids or they're going to go back to back with them and then back to back with cave kids. We'll see what happens. But yeah, those are going to be coming after the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. Now, I also believe, I also believe they will be doing the comedy hour. They have to do that because that's going to be an integration of not just, you know, new Flintstone stuff, but also Pebbles and Bam Bam. We know, we know that show happens, so that's going to be in there as well. So that might happen after Cave Kids. We'll see. But you know they are building. You know they're going to get to that point to, before this year is out, we're going to get, um, we're going to get, you know, uh, Yabba Dabba Doo and Holly Rockabay Baby. You know that's coming because they got to get those out before they do that Christmas special, um, which basically is like, the uh, the third in the trilogy of you know the uh, uh, basically the 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 true finale of OG Flintstones if you know what I mean so you know they got to do that you know they got to plan that out and everything so look forward to that uh, look forward to that happening in my opinion down the line but anyway that's all I could say on the MeTV Tunes updated schedule for September um, two mo- almost basically two months later. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on all this information, all this news that's come out. What are your thoughts on, you know, Yo Yogi coming? Do you agree with some of the rotations that I think they're trying to work out with some of these? Let me know. And until next time, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Ring, you know, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. Also, like the video and click on the links in the description to check out my Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else, as well as where you can find my content elsewhere. But until next time, guys, let me know what your thoughts are, and I'm out.